Let's take a look at how to drop a table in PostgreSQL database using Node.js. So first thing, make sure that you have PostgreSQL service running in the background. So you can go to all programs, then PostgreSQL, and then start PostgreSQL, okay? And this will run the service in the background. On command prompt, you can navigate to directory where you have your Node.js files. Open text editor, create one file. Let's name it sample.js. Store it in the same directory in which you have navigated, okay? And then let's create a code. Before that, you may have to install package named pg. So npm space install space pg. This will allow you to interface with Postgres from Node.js. Now, I have one database named testdb, and within which I have one table named social. I will show you that table is currently empty, and I'm going to drop it with drop query. So let's start. First, create constant, pool, and then client. Next thing, here you have to pass your PG module. Then another constant named pool that points to this pool constant. And here you have to start with user, which is Postgres. Then you have to start with localhost. Then you have database. Let's name it test PB because I have that. Then password, in my case, it's demo1234, okay? And finally, port 5432, okay? Then I'm going to run one query, so pull dot query, within which, in double quotes, I am going to write select dollar from, let's name it socials, and then here I'm going to catch error and result, okay? Then I'm going to simply capture that with console.log, error and result, then pull dot end, okay? So let's first take a look at this social table, which is empty. Okay, so node sample JS. Okay, so my spelling here for database is wrong. I have to correct that, okay. Then run the query again. Okay, and here it says undefined result because my table has no entries. It will show you ID name and email fields and that's all. So I want to drop this table and I can do that by simply using query drop table, okay? So if I use drop table social, then this in that table is now deleted. We can verify that simply by using select query again, which will throw us an error, okay? And as you can see, the table does not exist, error is thrown. That means drop table and then table name query works for removing table from your PostgreSQL database.